Assalamu alaikum. Today's topic is Fermi Dirac probability function. Uh, before going to start, we should know some features of statistics uh, about the Fermi Dirac. So, uh, as we know, that statistical statistics are statistical mechanics is used to counting for the objects or the particles uh, which are observable or not observable. For the observable class of objects we use the classical statistics and for not observable we use quantum statistics uh, quantum st classical statistics apply on the observable and distinguishing distinguishable particles whereas quantum statistics apply on the observable and indistinguishable particles for quantum statistics we have two class of uh, particles particles having half spin called fermion like electrons and particle having full spins are called the bosons so the distribution which is uh, used for the fermions is Fermi Dirac uh, statistics which are basically the name of two scientists Fermi and Dirac whereas the uh, particles having full spins and the quantum statistics used by the name of Bose Einstein uh, there are two scientists as well Bose and Einsteins uh, they have developed the quantum mechanical treatment of the particles having the full spins. The Fermi Dirac probability statistic functions have three features. Number one, indistinguishable. Number two, the uh, not observable particles. And the third one is odd uh, half integral spin or spin half edge cut or spin uh, particle. Due to this spin, the function of spin, it is the quantum mechanical treatment. So uh, indistinguishable particles, there are, if we have two electrons, there should be a two waves. So there are two waves. Uh, the red one and the yellow one these two waves uh, shows that the two electrons are moving in their way in the wave distribution is very close that's why we cannot say that these two particles are distinguishable because we cannot uh, resolve the distance between them they are very close to each other and the next feature is not observable electrons are much smaller than the atomic nuclei so we are able to use them as a as a medium these electrons are used as a medium to view the feature of the atom uh, but seeing an electron is not possible uh, till now and the third one is the odd half integral spin electrons uh, have the half spin particles because they have half spin along uh, clockwise or uh, along anti-clockwise if an electron is moving along its axis then it has spin angular momentum as well so the new thing is spin angular momentum which is associated with the uh, particles motion if we have a ball we can increase or decrease its angular momentum but the angular momentum of the electron cannot be changed so spin angular momentum of electron is fixed and that's value is 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 plus 1 into h cut whole under root the particle having spin uh, half are known as fermion due to this expression uh, which is explained in quantum mechanical uh, treatment as well so fermi drag statistics based on firm poly exclusion principle Poly what is poly exclusion principle poly exclusion principle is uh, states that no electron in an atom can be exist in the same quantum state whereas the quantum state can be defined by the quantum number there are four quantum number n l m l and m s where n is the principal quantum number so with the help of these four quantum numbers we can distinguish the particles with uh, each other so poly exclusion principles example is here we have a helium atom positively charged having two electrons for one electron if n is equals to one so l is equals to zero and ml is equals to zero by putting the value in the specific uh, formulas and ms is oh, plus one by two that is spin up for an ele second electron n is equals to one in the same orbit l is equals to zero ml is equals to zero so ms should be minus one by two that is spin down so one more example, if an electron has the atomic number 12, then its distribution at different atomic level is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, sp3 hybridization, uh, uh, that is the, for the calculation of the quantum numbers. 
we use these formulas to solve the fermi dirac probability statistics uh, by the for the understanding of the distribution of electron in the energy levels we consider a metal uh, that is divided in units uh, let me have these small parts unit 1 unit 2 3 4 5 6 up to i and i plus 1 going up to n particles we have and in each state we have the energy levels uh, different energy levels are present there for for the and that is the energy ranging from e plus d e, the small change of energy in it so each energy level has the lot of energy levels uh, in in the unit cell so particle having uh, energy uh, that def definitely have mass and if the particle has mass then it should has some uh, velocity by the help of mass and velocity we can uh, calculate its, its momentum as well so in ith unit electron are distributed obeying the Pauli exclusion principle if we have a one unit like if we are taking this unit uh, we have a lot of energy levels over there e1 e2 e3 up to en or ei so uh, by, by for the calculation of energy and momentum that is e plus delta of e or d of e or derivative of e and p plus d of p a small change of momentum and a small change of energy uh, by this for the distinguishable uh, level of the energies we use d e and uh, for the momentum dp distribution of ni particles in gi unit cell if we have uh, gi unit cells and each unit cells have the energy levels e1 e2 e3 up to ei uh, having number of particles n i so n i the number of uh, particles that to be distributed g i is the energy level where the electron may sit it should be a constant it is easy to find the distribution of less number of particle instead of a large number of particle for the better understanding of this uh, formula we use a small uh, number of particles instead of a large number of particles for distribution of ni particles in gis uh, we have the uh, example uh, in a classroom let's say we have 100 students and there are 100 chairs are available if we if uh, it, then it, it means each student can sit on each um, one chair against one chair against one student so uh, if we allow them to go outside the class and then come back to the class uh, whenever the student will sit on these chair it might be possible that the same chair will not occupy with the same student so uh, with the help of this phenomenon we can find the distribution of the particles of the of the students so we have if we have 100 students so there are for one student there are 100 possible uh, combinations from chair number one to chair number 100 uh, he can sit chair on chair number one to chair number 100 uh, so we have for one student we have 100 combinations so uh, you can think that if we have 100 students so how many uh, combinations uh, are possible for the combinations uh, we can write it g i c that is stands for the combinations and n i that is the uh, number of particles for this uh, for this combination uh, we can find the uh, we can find the number of combination by using this formula so uh, for the whole metal box if we have w number of different ways number of ways in which we want to distribute n number of particles in the whole metal so uh, how we can uh, write this formula w is equals to uh, pi from i varies from 1 to n it could be uh, summation or the multiplication sign so gi combination into ni so how can we write it we can write it uh, like gi factorial divided by ni factorial gi minus ni factorial uh, this formula can be derived in statistical mechanics as well but here we don't have time to solve this formula so <clears throat> we'll move further how to solve the factorial physics so in factorial physics is solved by taking uh, natural logs and the very important formula that is stilling approximation so we will use this stilling approximation uh, and solve this distribution in next lecture Thank you.